Hello and welcome. It's been a while since I've done my last video, but today I'm just going to go straight in with doing a ceremony, just like a little breathwork ceremony for us both to do. So to begin with, we want to set up your space so it feels a bit special and it feels a bit like it's in a little ceremony. So I recommend a candle. Uh, natural is best. Any essence of fire is good for any negative energy. We can just send straight there and it will be transmuted into light. It will also be good for smoke cleansing. So I'm going to use Palo Santo, but you can use anything really. Um, you can use sage from maybe your garden or rosemary, you can make your own little sticks for cleansing. This one has actually been infused with some Reiki energy from when I got certified as level one. So I'll be doing a little bit of that as well when we're setting our intentions at the beginning of this ceremony. So yeah, you can also have crystals, uh, anything that you find pretty, especially if it's like nature based, you can just add it and make an altar or you can surround yourself with some favorite things. You can have some pictures of loved ones either alive or passed on. You can also have a picture of yourself. Maybe use a child for some inner child work. Today we are going to be concentrating on finding inner peace and calm. When you're ready you can just pause this video and get your stuff all ready. Otherwise, once you press play, we will start. We're going to start by just like tuning into our own energy, stepping away from the physical world that's around us and any of our day to day activities. So we can just start by taking some deep breaths. Just breathing in and out of the nose, tuning into yourself, you can close your eyes. Take a deep breath through the nose and then on the out breath just sigh out of your mouth. Release any thoughts, release your day. For the next 20 minutes we're going to spend in our own energy cultivating some loving energy from within, some peace. So we're going to begin by cleansing with some smoke. If you can't do this, you can do some like, what's clapping? <laughs> and just clap it away, or you can do like this. And just imagine yourself moving the energy up and away from you. So any negative energy or energy you don't want to have. So I'm going to begin with my choice of smoke cleansing. It always takes a little while. <laughs> it's a little Palo Santo. So yeah. <laughs> Give you a little cleanse. And then we're just going to start from the head and just, it's important to have intention to be cleansing your space around you and within for any negativity that you want to leave. You can concentrate on the third eye, move to the throat, the throat chakra, the heart. Just go down your body, imagining yourself being cleansed from any negativity, 
and it being replaced with this loving white light. Yeah, cleansing any negativity. cleanse your space and your crystals as well. Just letting your environment know that you're about to go into the ceremony now. And this is a space for you to be going inwards. This is a space for you to let go of your everyday worries. Ending it now. Putting your smoke cleanse down. Just allow it to go out naturally. So yeah. Now our space is cleansed and we are in this space where we are safe and all that jazz and we're just going to continue by setting some intentions with about what we're about to go through. So bring your palms to prayer and heart in front of your heart position. And again, just tuning in. Just taking some breaths in and out of the nose. And now we can call in any helping spirits that wish to help us on this journey. So I will call in the Reiki energy. So it will be channeled through my body, out of my hands, for any self-healing that I need today. As well as any healing is needed for those behind the camera. tune into our heart spaces I ask that any energy that I'm channeling through is for my highest self and the highest self of you guys in any moment that I'm saying I this also means you And you can call in the help of your ancestors, those beings that wish for only the highest good of you. You can call in any spirit guides, any angels. You can call in God, the universe. Whichever one resonates best with you. It's calling in for the greater good of yourself. And any lower beings being put to the back. Knowing that you will be dealt with when we come back. Back to our everyday. Now we can think to some intention that we may want to bring to this practice today. 
My intention for today is to bring in some inner peace and calm, to relax our nervous systems, to come into the parasympathetic, the rest digest and restore. Your attention can be anything you wish it to be. Now you can move your hands down away onto your lap. We're just going to start with some gentle movement just to get the energy flowing a bit more freely within our energy centre. So we can begin with just some some softy grinds, I think they're called. Forgive me if I got it wrong. And you inhale coming forward and around. As you exhale, going backwards, inhaling again. Just letting this movement flow and then when you feel called to you can go the other way we're just waking up the energy that starts in the base of our spine and slowly making the circle smaller and smaller until you come to stillness again and then we're just going to do a little stretch to the side so go over with your left hand on the floor just extending your right arm overhead over to your left and then coming back to center and then with your other arms going over and stretching this way coming back to center again we we'll do some forwards and backwards rocking so inhaling forward exhaling backwards feeling this movement in your spine again forwards like cat cows, if you're familiar with yoga, but we're sat upright. Just doing a few more here. And then, once you're ready, maybe you can do some free flowing, however, you need to stretch. So, I like to do a few twists one side and then another. you can do some overhead and then you can maybe do like this and just imagine the energy moving down to the floor to your root going okay, back upwards surrounding you with this loving white light coming back down we'll do this three times One last time, hand over head, imagining being surrounded by this loving white light. And then this loving white light coming down through the body, down into the ground, before putting our hands on the floor. And just tune into the earth. noticing how it feels, how stable it feels. Bringing in a sense of this grounded energy. Knowing that you are part of the earth. And the earth is part of you. And when you're ready, we just bring our hands back up to our knees, or wherever feels comfortable. Taking 
taking sips of water if you need it. So next we shall move on to the breath work. So the technique that I'm going to be showing you today is called extended exhales. So this is a very calming breath. When you exhale for longer than your inhale, it tells the body that it is safe, it is calm. This is just an evolutionary kind of um, thing that we do. So after we are being chased by maybe a saber-toothed tiger, we would then stop and we could exhale for longer. So yeah is really kind of self-explanatory but we're just going to inhale for however long and then exhale for a slightly longer but to begin with we'll just start by getting ourselves again comfortable ready for just a few minutes of breath work and we'll just start with some in and out breaths through the nose Feeling the energy settle again. We're not trying to change the breath just yet, just going at your own pace. Slowly slowing it down. So I'm going to invite you to inhale through the nose and then we're going to do three sighs. So we're going to do the first one for inhaling again through the nose, exhaling through the mouth with a sigh, making this the last one, inhaling and sighing it out. I want you to notice where the breath is going in your body. So, to help you can put one hand on the chest, over your heart, on over your belly, sacral, and just breathe. Notice which part of your body is raising. Try not to judge. And now if you've noticed that you're mostly in your chest with the breathing and the movement, I invite you to try and move your belly instead. So as you inhale, your belly goes out And as you exhale, the belly goes in, back towards your navel, your spine. Inhaling, the belly goes out. Exhaling, the belly button goes towards the spine. Just doing this breath a few times. If perhaps it still feels a bit tough, a nice quote I like to say is to fake it till you make it. So just moving your belly so it goes outwards on the in breath. And goes inwards on the exhale. Now I invite you to count how long your breath is in and how many counts on your exhale. We're going to start 
by making it up to three. So both inhale and exhale are three counts. Taking a few breaths here. For the next inhale, if it feels comfortable, try adding an extra inhale second. On the exhale, try adding one more count as well, making it up to four seconds. Inhaling for four. And exhaling for four. Noticing how this feels, how your body feels a bit more relaxed as you slow down the breath. And now we'll inhale for four, but on the exhale, we're going to exhale for five, having one more count. Inhaling for four. And exhaling for five. Inhaling for four. Exhaling for five. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling for five. Inhaling. And you can continue at this pace if this is what feels comfortable. But if you feel like it, you can add one more second to the exhale, making it the count of six. So inhaling for four, exhaling for six, inhaling for four, exhaling for six. Inhaling for four. Exhaling for six. Inhaling for four. Remember to fill the belly. Exhaling, slowly deflating the belly. Inhaling. Filling your body with oxygen. Exhaling for six. Inhaling for four. Exhaling for six. Just feeling all the air leaving the body. Inhaling for four. Exhaling for six. Now continuing at your own pace. Do a few more rounds.
if your mind wanders, just knowing that this is normal and coming back in the next inhale. You may notice as you exhale that your body just relaxes a bit more down into the seat. Maybe your shoulders move away from your ears. We're really just cultivating this inner peace, this rest. Now we'll do one more round. Before coming back to your normal breath. Not purposely trying to change anything. Now just notice how you feel. How relaxing it is just after a few minutes of this breath. How you've cultivated a little bit more inner peace. Remembering the intentions from the beginning. And now, keeping your eyes still closed, I'm going to do a little guided meditation, a little visualization to relax our body just a little bit more. I want you to bring your attention to the top of your head now. And as you exhale, I want to imagine you are sinking down into your seat. Feeling the crown of your head just relaxed, even just 1% more than it currently is. Bringing your attention to the side of your face, to your temples. Each exhale, you're just relaxing a little bit more. And now bring your awareness to your jaw. there anywhere that you're clenching? Can you let go of this tension? Allow your tongue to relax in your mouth. Bring your attention to the whole of your face, to your head. Is there anywhere that you feel tension that you can just release just 1% of this tension? Using the exhale to sink down, to relax just a little bit more. And now you can bring your attention to your shoulders. If you need to, just give a little roll, release any tension you're feeling. As you exhale, your shoulders moving down away from your ears. Just sinking down even just 1% more than you currently are. Now you can bring your attention to your heart space, 
to your chest. Is there any area that you can release just a little bit more? Perhaps there's also emotion sitting there that you really that you wish to release. Can you imagine on the exhale as you relax that it's just melting away? Bringing your attention to your upper arms. Can you release any tension here? Moving to your elbows. Letting go of any way that you're holding these elbows up. Allow them just to flop down. Bring your attention to your lower arms, to your wrists, again releasing wherever you can. Now to your palms of your hands and your fingers, are you clenching any part of your hand? or your fists and can you just let this go just a little bit using the exhale as that way to release and now imagining the energy moving up your relaxed arms back to your torso we'll move to our belly. Can you release any tension here? Are you holding your belly in? Just letting go. Letting the tension melt away. Dissolving. Noticing the breath in your belly. Is there a way that you can use this breath to relax and using it in this way? Now we bring our awareness to our hips and our lower back. Is there any tension, any pain, try not to judge it, but trying to just release it as you exhale, sinking, dissolving further into your seat. Bringing your attention to your pelvic area. Are you holding on? in any way and can you release this moving down to the upper legs to your thighs exhaling and releasing the tension even just 1% more. Moving to your knees. Then to your lower legs, to your calves. Releasing the tension. Moving to your ankles, 
imagining them just melting into the ground melting wherever they're touching feeling the tension just float away and finally to your toes to the bottom of your feet letting go of any last tension in your body now you can bring your attention back up and see your body as a whole exhale sinking down anywhere that there is any tension left maybe you can bring your awareness to any areas where you're feeling tension or pain breathing into this area exhale visualizing it melt relax down into your seat seeing your body as a whole just being aware of how you now feel to the area just around your body now not judging just paying attention to how it feels we'll do our last few breaths here start by inviting you to come back into the body just taking a deep breath through the nose and then exhaling Fully letting go of the breath, inhaling again, filling the lungs and the belly and exhaling and letting it all go. Now just start bringing some movement into the body. So you can start by wiggling the toes fingers, moving your wrists, maybe rolling your shoulders, rolling your neck, if your eyes still closed just coming back slowly to the body and to the present one more inhale and then sighing out before going back by opening your eyes slowly blinking them open just Noticing how you're feeling now. Hopefully you're feeling some inner peace and calm. And 
so if you feel cold you can write in the comments below how you feel after this little ceremony but now we're just going to close so we can just start by just by being present with how we're currently feeling just pay attention to your surroundings looking at your crystals if you have them, that is looking at the candle and I want you to bring your attention to your heart and just bring in and invoke some gratitude for having this little ceremony for yourself today trying to feel how that feels to be grateful for everyone and everything helping us come into this space today whether you used Reiki energy whether you called in your ancestors or god or goddesses any deity is just being grateful being thankful for their blessing I want you to bring the intention of this ceremony to your, your forefront of your awareness I want you to think of ways that you can step back into the everyday life but still carry this feeling with you so for me I will be taking it slow I will be breathing a little bit more deeply I won't go back into rushing into any work or any chores I need to do and with that We'll just give our last thanks for this time that we've given ourselves for our highest self. And we ask that we step through the rest of our day with this inner peace and calm. close the ceremony we can just maybe blow out the candle I often say just to keep the candle uh, going until it ends but if it's not that type of candle the signifying to the end of a ceremony could be the blowing out of a candle it could be just some sound you could play some chimes or a bowl if you've got little Tibetan bowls they're a good way but with this you just blow out the candle and just with your last thanks so yeah that's the end of our little ceremony <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it I certainly did I'm feeling very calm and yeah if you would like to see more of these kind of ceremonies with the breath and meditation just let me know by liking this video but apart from that I will see you when I next see you 
when I hear the next call to make a video. So thank you for watching and have a blessed rest of your day.